Hello and welcome to SnowRunner New Mods and today we have a new mod, the Hellion ISV by MaxMike181. Now this is a bit different, so let's go into the garage and see what options are available. Right, so there it is, the M181 Hellion ISV customized options. So we have the DI DEI H8 litre and that's the only engine option but that seems to go pretty well anyway you can see we've got plenty of power to weight and maximum durability and then same with the gearbox you've got the S117 HSHCE and then we have suspension standard suspension on it and then tyre wise we have the all terrains there and then some off roads and quite a few different mud tyres selected and a couple of chains on there as well. Then moving on to winches, we've got the stock skate winch, the advanced skate, and the autonomous skate plus. And then a couple of different tire options. There's one, that one's underneath the rack actually. Let's take that rack off because I've got dev tools on in this map, so we don't really need those on there. And you see we've got the spare wheel on the back, or you can put that one in the back of the vehicle there. And then frame add-ons, we've got a small roof rack with 20 on the fuel and then four spare wheels and 300 repair points. And then there's a couple of other ones with, uh, that one's 120 fuel, 150 repair points. And that's the, I thought that was the larger size, but no, it's 80 on the fuel, 150. But that one looks okay as well, a bit of a Mad Max style. We've got LED lighting on the front of it as well. And then with trunk repair supplies just there so going over to lighting and we have a factory beacon then we have the flasher and the searchlight let's just put the searchlight on there and then hasn't got any extra rims and then we've got all your bobbleheads and all your hood ornaments and all that in there if you want so that is what options are available from the helion isv so let's go and take it out for a spin so we're down at Musoko Heights, or I tell you what, I get this wrong. Yeah, I call it Heights. I don't know why. It's Musoko Highlands. Now this is an awesome map. I absolutely love it. It's probably one of my favourite maps for messing around on so far. So let's take it for a, a spin. And I've already had a little go with this, and it absolutely flying up this hill. I was quite surprised because I've had a even the high boy did struggle up here. And as soon as you put it into high, then wow, well, yeah we can take off so you can see with that engine there's plenty of power if you want it so let's drop it back into auto because uh, the trouble is when you're going too quick you just haven't got the control whatsoever well, I was talking to a friend yesterday when this came out and uh, he said this one I'm sure it's the, the Warthog from Halo it's been slightly changed and it's that model so not sure if this one will come to console or not it isn't branded or anything but you never know you never know what's going on with what's coming in console lately because uh, what we thought and what we know are two different things they really are now this one has got a decent sized tank on it you see it's got the 250 litre fuel tank on it and we've got permanent permanent all-wheel drive and permanent diff as well I do prefer switching that to be honest because uh, yeah it's always nice to because sometimes you get a little bit stuck and it is nice to be able to switch it on and it makes a difference but not that it doesn't make any difference here because that seems to be pulling through that mud pretty well go back into the auto box and see if we can uh, get a bit quicker because I, I like the speed. No, we're not getting the speed through there. Let's go back into the low and do it right. But at least it is a decent speed going through there in the low gearbox. Because a, a lot of the, especially the vanilla ones, going through some of this mud, it's just, it's just ridiculous how, how long it takes to get through. Where you just, it's not even the slightest bit realistic, is it? But this, the Helion, seems to be kicking some ass. Now it does give you the impression it's a go anywhere vehicle really doesn't it and 
from what I've used of it so far it pretty much will it does what you want it to and doesn't really have any problems with it and I'll tell you what we will make our way out to the open, back to the open road put it in high yeah now he's just sunk into the ground there but it's nice as soon as you click into that low ratio gearbox you've got the traction there straight away up to low plus cracking job now Max Mike he's done quite a few tweaks on vehicles and he said this is his first mod that he's uh, put together so let's see if it copes with this slope though this might be a bit too much man. there's not many vehicles what are going to go up come on no it's just on that point but the one thing I did find about it is you can put it on quite an angle and it's really stable most most vehicles you would have flipped it by now and it just stays there let's see if we can get it I'll tell you what let's put the let's put the handbrake on and then we get the winch on to go because we see how long that winch is and oh look at that that's just out of range on that one I'll tell you what let's put it on the back of the vehicle because that'll look obviously help anyway and then we can hook onto there and then hopefully we can just pull ourselves out of there come on get up there yeah we should be okay now this next bit I don't think this is as steep or is it it would be a bloody tree in the way Come on, let's get up there. Yeah, it's doing it. We are getting there. Fair play. And that's what I'm trying to get back on. The road, just over there. And what's the time of the day here? Let's have a look what time of the day. Oh, it is getting on. Let's, let's fast forward a bit. So that's a bit better. Just so it's a bit brighter. Right, let's get back into that auto box then. So you can see it's a really stable mod. I haven't, yeah, I, ha I haven't even rolled it yet actually. Which for me, that's uh well, that's no brainer. I always end up rolling it, especially if you're going a bit too quick. But I do love this high. As soon as you blip it into high, well, and look at that, I still didn't roll it. But yeah, this map's probably not the best for flying around. There's a few a few bends here and there but a little bit of control on the throttle and we should be good to go yeah it's just flying it just wants to go so nice looking bit of kit another skate we've got so many skates on PC it's crazy uh, I suppose new mods, new mods. That's all we care about for SnowRunner. Well, steady now. Yeah, there we go. Already. Well, that's the first look at the Helion Helion ISV by Max Mike, and this is available on PC. It came out on PC today. Whoa, shit. Whoa. Yeah, that could be trouble. Came out on PC today. Well, I think it came out last night. Um, I can't remember. So, yeah, the engine's stalled. Engine knackered. Yeah, but I still haven't rolled it yet. But are we going to get out of here? This is the thing with a broke engine. Just wish these winches had a little bit more power on them. So sometimes it wasn't such a... A pain in the ass getting out. Like this time. Come on, get out of there. Where are we? There we go. I think we were. We were oh, we were, there we go. We're winched on. Right, anyway. So that's it, first look at the Helion ISV by Max Mike. I hope you've uh, 
enjoyed this episode. And if you did, go and check out my other ones. I did quite a few mod reviews and also cover SnowRunner news as well. And also bring you the latest on all the console mods. That's, uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode.